The 2026 HAL Tejas MK2 stands as a powerful statement of India's growing aerospace capability and self-reliance in defense manufacturing. Developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, the Tejas MK2 is the next evolutionary step in India's indigenous, light combat aircraft program, a fighter designed not only to replace aging jets like the Mirage 2000 and Jaguar, but also to compete with modern four. Five generation aircraft on the global stage. The new variant pushes the boundaries of performance, technology, and versatility, marking a major leap forward from the original Tejas MK1 and MK1A models. At its core, the Tejas MK2 is a multi role Yuta fighter aircraft capable of performing air superiority, ground attack, reconnaissance, and interception missions. What makes this aircraft stand out immediately is its size and power. Compared to its predecessors, it's larger, longer, and significantly more capable. The fuselage has been stretched to accommodate more fuel, advanced avionics, and additional weapon payloads. This gives the MK2 a stronger presence in the sky and enables it to carry out long-range missions that the earlier variant simply couldn't handle. Powering the Tejas MK2 is the formidable General Electric F414 GEINS6 engine, the same engine family that powers some of the world's best fighter aircraft such as the F-A-18 Super Hornet. This engine generates about 98 kilonewtons of thrust, a significant jump from the MK-1's F-404 engine. With this boost, the MK-2 achieves a top speed of Mach 1.8, around 200 km per hour, and an impressive service ceiling of 50,000 feet. More importantly, the engine provides excellent thrust-to-weight ratio, allowing for superior climb rates, tighter turns, and improved agility in dogfights. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Tejas MK2 is its agility and handling. The aircraft features an advanced fly-by-wire system with quadruplex redundancy, meaning it's electronically controlled rather than mechanically, giving pilots greater stability and precision even during high-stress maneuvers. The design incorporates relaxed static stability, which makes the aircraft inherently unstable a quality that might sound risky but actually enhances maneuverability when managed through computerized flight control. This setup allows the pilot to make sharper turns, quicker rolls, and faster pitch adjustments, giving the Tejas MK2 an edge in close-range aerial combat. In terms of design, the Tejas MK2 blends sleek aerodynamics with a purposeful look that screams performance. The delta wing configuration has been retained but with refinements including close-coupled canards near the cockpit for enhanced lift and control. The addition of canards marks a major design change from the earlier Tejas variants, improving low-speed handling, stability during takeoff and landing, and high angle of attack performance. The airframe has been built using advanced composite materials, around 70% by surface area, which reduces weight while enhancing strength and corrosion resistance. These composites also lower the radar cross-section, giving the aircraft semi-stealth characteristics that make it harder to detect by enemy radar. The cockpit of the Tejas MK2 is built around pilot efficiency and situational awareness. It features a full-glass cockpit with large multifunctional displays, a wide-angle head-up display, and a hands-on throttle and stick HODAS, configuration. This allows pilots to control key systems without taking their hands off the controls, ensuring focus during critical missions. The aircraft also integrates helmet-mounted display systems, enabling the pilot to target and engage threats simply by looking at them, a feature comparable to those found in advanced Western and Russian fighters. Avionics and sensor systems are where the Tejas MK2 truly steps into the future. The aircraft is equipped with an indigenous Autumn Active Electronically Scanned Array, AESA radar, developed by India's DRDO. This radar provides 360-degree situational awareness, multiple target tracking, and electronic warfare capabilities. It can track and engage air and surface targets simultaneously, ensuring the pilot can maintain offensive and defensive awareness at all times. The aircraft also incorporates an advanced electronic warfare suite that includes radar warning receivers, jammers, and countermeasure dispensers, giving it strong survivability in contested airspace. When it comes to armament, the Tejas MK2 is designed for versatility. It features 11 hardpoints, two more than the earlier variant, 
allowing it to carry a mix of air-to-air, air-to-ground, and anti-ship weapons. It can be armed with beyond visual range, BVR missiles such as the Astra, Python 5, and Darby, as well as precision-guided bombs and rockets. The inclusion of an in-flight refueling probe ensures extended mission endurance, while compatibility with a wide range of Western and indigenous weapons makes it a highly adaptable platform. In addition to kinetic weapons, the Tejas MK2 can also carry targeting pods and reconnaissance systems for intelligence gathering and battlefield management. One of the unique selling points of the Tejas MK2 is its balance between advanced technology and cost effectiveness. While it offers performance and avionics comparable to jets like the Gripen E or F 16V, it comes at a lower acquisition and maintenance cost. This makes it an attractive option for nations seeking to modernize their air forces without breaking the bank. The aircraft's modular design and simplified maintenance systems reduce downtime, ensuring higher operational availability rates. Another major highlight is its focus on self reliance and indigenous development. More than 80% of the Tejas MK2's components are produced in India, reflecting the country's growing confidence in homegrown technology. From the radar and electronic warfare systems to flight controls and structural components, the aircraft demonstrates India's ability to produce sophisticated combat systems domestically. This aligns with the National Make in India initiative and reduces dependency on foreign suppliers for critical defense needs. From a performance standpoint, the Tejas MK2 can hold its own against any aircraft in its class. Its agility, radar technology, and situational awareness make it formidable in dogfights while its extended range and payload allow it to perform deep strike missions with precision. The aircraft's operational radius is expected to exceed 1,000 kilometers, and with aerial refueling, that range extends even further. Its ability to switch roles seamlessly from air defense to ground.